Today I'm making meatloaf stuffed bell peppers. This is gonna be good. Okay, so I'm gonna go over the ingredients. Now you definitely can use ground beef for this, but I'm going with ground turkey today. So here I'm working with multicolored bell peppers. Ultimately, I will be using four bell peppers. Here I have two pounds of lean ground turkey meat. Like I said, ground beef works perfect for this. Into the mix, I'm going to be adding chicken stovetop dressing. It's a six ounce box. You can use the flavor that you prefer. I'm also using two large eggs, a quarter cup of ketchup. Here I have spicy ketchup. It's up to you what you want to use. And I'm also going to top it with a ketchup mixture, serve with rice and veggies. So in a bowl, I've added my ground meat, and now I'm going to add the entire package or box of stovetop stuffing. Here I'm going to crack in my two large eggs. I'm also adding that quarter cup of ketchup. By the way, I didn't show this earlier, but I am going to be adding a half cup of low sodium chicken broth into the mix. And now with clean hands, I'm going to mix and combine everything together. And if you want to make this, you don't have to add the stovetop stuffing. You could use six ounces of crushed Ritz crackers, breadcrumbs, or saltine crackers and season how you like. It all works. Okay, so this is combined well, and now I'm ready to stuff the peppers. I've cleaned them and I've halved four bell peppers, so it gives me eight halves. And I'm just going to use a scoop and just fill them up until I've used all of this meat mixture. By the way, you definitely can just make a meatloaf with this recipe that I'm using to stuff the bell peppers. That works great as well. And also, you do not have to use multicolored bell peppers. If you have all green, that works. Whatever you have or can get your hands on, it always works in my book. So I'm going to continue stuffing all of these peppers and just dividing all of the meat mixture as evenly as possible between all of the halves. And these are done. Okay, so let me show you how I'm going to top these today. I have eight ounces of white cheddar. Low moisture mozzarella works for this. I'm also going to combine spicy ketchup and A1 steak sauce for the topping. You could do barbecue sauce or your favorite homemade ketchup sauce for meatloaf. It all works. Oh, and I'm not even measuring this. I do this a lot, so I'm just sort of eyeballing the ketchup in a bowl. And then I'm just going to add the A1 sauce right on top. I would say like a half cup to three quarters of a cup of ketchup, a couple of tablespoons of the A1 sauce, mix it, combine it, and that works. Sometimes I even like to add some dark brown sugar in the mix, but this is perfect and it's easy. So going right on top, and I'm going to divide this as evenly as possible and then just spread it on top. And for those of you that just do not like the ketchup topping on meat loaf, you can exclude this step or omit it and just top it with the cheese if you prefer. In my opinion, do what works best for you and, you know, adhere to your personal preferences. Okay, so once this is all spread out and topped, I'm going on with the cheese. Somewhere like five to six ounces works. I'm going to try to add the entire eight ounces. I kind of want a cheese topping, like melty cheese crust on top, so divide it as evenly as possible on all eight of these stuffed bell peppers. So once these are topped, I have a preheated oven of 375 degrees Fahrenheit, and I'm going to bake these for 45 minutes until they're done in the center. In the meantime, I'm melting two tablespoons of butter in a small pan, and I have two drained cans of veggies. One is peas going in, and then a drained can of corn. I'm really trying to go for simple, easy, and a little bit less homemade today. <laughs> So I'm going to just season, pepper, and cook. Here, I was recently at the World Market and saw these gravy granules. 
you just add boiling water to it and I'm gonna give it a try it's basically brown gravy and I believe this is an import from the UK if I'm not mistaken and that's the instruction so that's gonna work for the gravy today so for this meal you can add roasted potatoes mashed potatoes but we always cook steamed rice in the rice cooker so that's what's going to be the other side today so I guess you just mix until it starts to thicken like this not bad this is pretty quick okay so these are done and you want to make sure the internal temperature reaches about 160 to 165 degrees Fahrenheit if you're working with turkey okay so I'm going to remove these from the oven and I always like to state that the cook time varies, especially if you're working with cold meat. But these are done, and I am ready to serve a plate. Okay, so this is the steamed rice that I had cooking in the uh, rice cooker. I'm just going to scoop in some of the sautéed vegetables. I just added cracked black pepper and butter. And now for the meatloaf stuffed bell peppers. This is definitely... A nice little twist on like a meatloaf Monday I would say so I'm going to add half right onto my plate and this is dinner by the way let's not forget that brown gravy and this is dinner I hope you give this recipe a try I hope you like it and thanks for watching